Hey guys, it's Sam here. So I decided to go to my first ever experience at Close Mentor. Um, I don't have really any expectations for this place. You know, I do have three bags of stuff that I will show you that I am going to try to sell. Um, conveniently, there is a um, Plato's Closet right down the way. So we'll see what I can sell at Close Mentor because they probably like they have more higher end kind of stuff if that makes any sense. So we'll see, you know, how much I can get there and then I'll go to Plato's Closet. So yeah, let me show you what we have. So I got a white laundry basket and two blue bags, Ikea bags of stuff. So yeah, we're gonna try to sell some stuff and my goal is only to like spend how much I make. So if I make $100, all I can really spend is 100. But I'm not gonna keep myself like set to that. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, let's go. This Millie dress is a size eight for $18. Unfortunately, it, I didn't really think the print would sell on Poshmark. It's kind of like an ordered style, so I put it back. These Banana Republic pants I was gonna pick up for myself. Um, they were $16 for a size small. Unfortunately, they were too big on the waist and they were too tight on the legs, so I put them back. This was a cute green jacket from Splendid. Um, I was gonna get it for myself, but at $22 for a size medium, I thought it was too expensive and I didn't like the ruffle detailing. Too girly for me. Next up, we have this really cute Anthropology cardigan. The back has a stunning lobster detailing. It would have been great for resale, but at um, $18 for a size medium and there's a lot of pilling, I decided to put it back. This was one of the clearance items that I found. It was New York and Company. It was on clearance for $2. Um, unfortunately, there's just a little bit too much pilling and it just looked a little stretched out, so I just put it back. This would have been a great Madewell cardigan to add to my collection. It was $20 for size medium. Um, definitely overpriced um, considering that there was pilling. So because of that not being in great condition, I put it back, unfortunately. This Marmot brand is great. It's like really expensive originally. Um, it was marked at $25 for a size small. Um, unfortunately, it was too small for me and too expensive for resale. So this was a something to put back. This Madewell denim dress was marked at $18, but just because I don't really wear dresses at all and it's too expensive for resale, I decided to put it back. This Madewell blouse was pretty decent price at $14 if it was going to be for yourself. Um, unfortunately, it was a little too worn, so I decided to put it back. Same thing with this Madewell blouse. Um, it was a size medium for $14. Um, it was definitely too much of a boxy fit, so if it was a small, it would have been great, but not for me. This beautiful Free People blouse was only $12, size medium. Strangely enough, I own this in a size large white and blue polka dot and it fits great, but this one just was really odd, so I put it back. I found two of this exact same Free People tunic, size small for $18. Unfortunately, the one had pilling and the other one just fit really oddly, so I was very sad, but I had to put them back. This Free People Henley was in really great condition. But at $14 and the way that it fit me and just like shows the stomach, I didn't feel comfortable getting it for myself. This Free People button down blouse was $14 size small, um, pretty good deal for myself. Unfortunately, it was a little too worn and oddly enough, the sleeves were like way too short. So unfortunately, I had to put it back. I did like the ruffle detailing though. At $10 size small, this Banana Republic outlet top was cute. However, the stitching detail was right above the boob, so I decided not to pick it up for myself. Another great Banana Republic blouse that would have been great for work, um, $14, but I could not get it over my chest. All right, guys, so I am out of Close Mentor already. Um, it took me about an hour for the buying to finish, but I spent probably about two hours shopping in there. They offered me $48.10 for 13 items. Honestly, they took my really ugly items. Not gonna lie, like the stuff that they bought, I was like, why did you pick that? And you didn't even pick the good stuff. But nonetheless, um, $48.10 for 13 items, eh, average, I guess. Um, I'll be losing money, but whatever. And then I bought, let's see. Okay, so, and then I bought 11 items for $103. Um, they gave me a $5 off because it was my first time there. Um, a couple items were clearance. It's only the clearance items that I'm gonna be able to resell because it was probably too expensive. Um, maybe maybe the show me your moo dress I can sell, but other than that, the most of the stuff is for myself. I mean, it was actually pretty good. I mean, there was a lot of free people made well, so I guess I was satisfied. And now we are on to Plato's Closet, see what they will buy there. 
Hi everybody, it's Samantha. Um, I went to Plato's Closet and Clothes Mentor yesterday. So I'm just gonna show you the stuff that I picked up. Um, the full price stuff, unfortunately, was too expensive for resale for the most part, um, except for some stuff at Plato's Closet, and I'll explain why. And um, so yeah, let's just get started. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the finds that I got at Clothes Mentor, from least to most expensive, and then I will do the same with Plato's Closet. Okay, so. This is the first item. I wouldn't have purchased it if it wasn't on clearance. Um, it was marked at $12. And it went down to $2. It's Brooks Brothers. I've never seen like a print like this. Like normally this wouldn't be something that I would wear. I did like the style, just not, I don't wear pink. But I picked it up just because this would be like a really cute top for somebody who does like pink. Um, and it's in perfect condition. Like. It doesn't even look like it's worn and the way you can tell is that most like coloring off of buttons will come off and this is like literally in perfect condition i've seen like these sleeveless go sell for like 18 to 20 dollars so i mean as long as i get 15 that's fine next up was another clearance find okay so this one was marked at ten dollars it went down to two dollars it is broadway and broom and this is if anybody is not familiar it's um a madewell brand um, I don't know if they still sell it there. I've never seen it there, but I thought this was really cute. It does look like a pair of shorts, but it's actually a cute little skirt. Um, I would keep it for myself, but it is silk, which means it's dry clean only. And I don't pay for dry cleaning, so I'm not gonna keep it. And it's really, really cute. Um, the photos that I've seen of sold listings, um, people model them like really cute. So for $2, I mean, as long as, like, like I said, as long as I get 15, um, I usually mark stuff at like $30, like usually like, twice the price that of my minimum so if I want to get 15 I usually list them for 30. This was another cute clearance find. It was marked at $14 down to five and it is Jack by BB Dakota new of tag and I definitely wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't new of tag. Um, size I don't usually carry a lot of large sizes honestly because I only buy stuff if I would personally wear it so you know, I can't personally wear this because it's not my size. But, you know, it's a large, why not? And so there's, um, what do you call it? There's a super cute bow detailing. And then the back is, kind of has like an open back style. I mean, this would be like really cute, like garden party, like anything like cute little dress to wear somewhere. This was my last clearance find and my best clearance find. They marked this at $40, which is insane, um, down to $5. Little black dresses are always good. Um, this is probably a little bit more of an outdated black style. Um, you probably won't see it in the video, but um, I mean, it's basic. You could definitely tell that it's older, but, and it has, the best thing is pockets. I mean, who doesn't like pockets in a dress? This is a size zero for uh, for theory. So I would say like this is more like for an older person, but you, stereotyping, um, older people probably aren't a size zero, but um, I'm sure somebody will like it. Maybe a girl that is graduating or we'll see. All right, so let's get down to everything else is for myself for Clothes Mentor. So this was new with Tag Zara. I think I've seen this somewhere before. I wanna say maybe like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, size medium, my size. And they had it listed for $10, which is expensive for Zara, considering that um, it sells less at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but whatever. Um, the reason why I think it's TJ Maxx and Marshalls is because it has um, the tag partially cut off, and that's a signature of like what TJ Maxx and Marshalls Zara pieces look like. So it's a shirt, like a very interesting denim shirt. Um, the front of the pocket says, find your way. And then the back says, everything starts with a blank canvas. And I really like that. This was one that I was definitely like the most hesitant on because I was like, oh, I hate spending $10 for something, but I know I'm gonna wear it. Um, it's definitely like a step up from like the typical like denim shirts. Um, it's in between like a jacket and a shirt because it's like a slightly thicker. So um, pretty good quality for Zara. I love these Madewell shirts. Um, I forget the name of them, but it's new with tag for $12. And I've been eyeing like the yellow version of this on ThreadUp and they have it marked for like $23 new of tag. And so $12 is pretty good. 
it doesn't have the original price um i'm gonna guess this was like an online purchase because the bottom part of this doesn't have the price it's an extra small um for those of you who know madewell these shirts these button down shirts definitely run big so yeah twelve dollars i think these are probably like eighty dollars or so it's cute it's like white with like light red stripes so yeah twelve dollars is good um not for resale though like i said these are all for myself um, except for this item um i'm gonna at least try to resell this um i do need to fix it up because it has a slip underneath but the one side of the slip is no longer attached which is probably why they marked this at $12 because it's show me your moo moo. It is a size medium for $12. And all I have to do is like a little sewing just to tie this back up so the slip is with it. Although honestly, I would not like them attached for the fact that um, I would probably wear a different color because I don't wear pink. Maybe like an ivory slip underneath this would be really cute. Um, it has adorable bell sleeves. The bridesmaid dresses are the best sellers for um, Show Me Your Moo Moo for like the highest price. And I was looking up comps for these. Um, this one's like all over the place. It's like between like 30 to 60 typically. The great thing about Show Me Your Moo Moo is that on the care tag, they tell you the name of it. It's the Sienna Swing Dress. So yeah, um, it's really cute. I like the color minus the um, pink slip, so. Definitely gonna list it, um, fix that sewing. Mention that I um, fixed the sewing in the description. This is a super soft Madewell striped shirt. Normally I wouldn't go for this because it's so ordinary. And $14 is, I would expect like the, the striped $12 one to be more expensive than this one, but whatever. This one's $14, size small. It was $59.50 and then it was on clearance for um, $48 at Nordstrom. It's a little oversized. Um, it has like a little bit of a crop sleeve and honestly the softest shirt ever. So that's why the main reason why I picked it up. This isn't gonna look good when I show it to you, but you can get the idea. Um, it was $14, new with tag J. Crew. Um, does not have the price on it, but it's J. Crew. I just love the print. Like, is this not the cutest print in the entire world? And my one dog's name is Daisy, so I love anything with like floral, but not too girly. Like, I like the fact that these are like yellow flowers. I need to figure out how to wrap it because I could not figure it out in the store, but it did look good on me. Um, it's really thick material. It's from fall 2018. So that's great. Not old at all. I, it definitely, I could tell that it was like a newer style. Okay, it's only a polyester and it says machine wash cold. I was worried that it was gonna be dry clean only just because it feels so good. I have this same item listed in my Poshmark closet in a blue color. This one is in a lot better condition. Like it literally doesn't even look worn whatsoever. You can just tell because this material is easy to like fade, but it's absolutely perfect. You might be surprised why I picked this up because it's pink. What am I thinking? I'm definitely gonna list this in my closet, but I also might wear it once or twice. It's a size small. Um, the other one I listed because it's an extra small and it's just too tight in the sleeve area. And this one fits well um, in the sleeve area, but it's really long. It's like almost a mini dress. Um, it might look cute with like biker shorts. My favorite part about this is like the sleeves. It's a little bit tighter. Yeah, it's just a really nice piece. This is like a blush pink color. And then the one that I'm selling is like a dark navy blue. So this is a size small free people for $16. Pretty good, um, decent price. I would say that's average considering it's perfect condition for you people. Um, I really do like the medallion print. I think I'd probably list this for like 50 bucks and see what happens. All right, so this is my last clothes mentor find. It is the brand Page, size medium for $16. And again, not normally my style because it's pink flowers on it. What's this insanity? But look at the back of this guys. Do you see that fringe detailing? It's like cute daisy print meets Western style. Um, I might end up listing this in my closet, 
I did like a keyword search for um, button down page shirts. As far as I'm aware, this is a one of a kind. So yeah, um, I decided to pick this up just because it was so unique. And like I said, um, I need to get some more different pieces besides just blue. So, and I'm starting a new job. First official real job, full time. So I need to get some professional clothes because I'm gonna be working at a bank. I ended up selling um, 13 items for $48 at Clothes Mentor. And Plato's Closet, I wanna say that it was 11 items for $24. I was actually surprisingly disappointed. Like I was thinking like at minimum for three bags of stuff that I would get like $100. I only got like 70 bucks and I spent more than I made. I was surprisingly disappointed with Plato's Closet. Um, there were a few d doors down from each other. I'm guessing that's why, because if there was no clothes mentor, maybe Plato's Closet would have some more adult stuff. Literally 50% of the store was Forever 21 crap. And don't get me wrong, like I own a few Forever 21 pieces. It's just, the stuff was honestly crap. This was one of the biggest Plato's Closets I've been to. They had a separate section labeled American Eagle Jeans. They had a separate section for Victoria's Secret. Um, they had a little round rack just dedicated to like buckle jeans. So yeah, I was really, really disappointed with Plato's Closet. Like I would go through the racks and I found maybe three pieces of free people and they were all just like horrible quality. All the stuff was like priced the same. Like the free people items like were like $7, but the Forever 21 was like $10. The um, buckle jeans, that section, they were 30 to $40. I was like, holy crap. They listed these DL61 jeans for $20. They had a bunch of clearance stickers on them and it went down to $1. A size 26. It's in perfect condition. The bottom doesn't look shredded. I mean, it looks like they might have rolled these up, the jeans up a little bit, but um, always check inside the crotch area. The crotch is good. So I thought for a dollar, I might as well pick them up because I've never found DL 1961 jeans. Um, I think they're originally like 170 some bucks. Do these have a style name? <laughs> oh gosh, I said these are in perfect condition. No, they're not. Look at that. There's a hole. And I thought I checked these so good. These are an easy sewing fix, honestly though. Um, I'm gonna make my mom fix them. I was wondering why these were a dollar. It's not that noticeable though. At least it's not like fully out. Like I just have to sew it down. It's still attached, but wonderful guys. <laughs> That's kind of disappointing. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. These are new of tag. The clearance price is $10. Dumb Plato's Closet marked these for $12. And then eventually it went down to a dollar and it's like you're why are you selling stuff for the more than the original price i only got it because it was new of tag i think i've seen this at um tj max and marshall's but i could be wrong so it's a cute olive green dress it has a cute detailing in the front it looks like a little bit more of like a an adult style which is probably why it didn't sell um average size a size medium at least it's not like an extra small or small material feels okay it has two layers of fabric. The show is polyester, the lining's polyester. Okay, so it's average. I just thought like, why not for a dollar if it's new of tag? Okay, let's hope none of these items are damaged. This was a great find because it's my first ever for love and lemons find. And not only that, it's new of tag. It's annoying though, they don't have the original price on it. It's so tiny though, it's an extra small. They marked it only at $6. It's like, that's insane. I mean, I get that it's a little piece of fabric, but like you sell little pieces of fabric for Forever 21 there for $10. So yeah, that's tiny. I think I've seen them sell for like, typically like $22. So it's cute. I'm sure some girl that likes to do festivals and concerts will wear it. Like it's like, reminds me of Coachella vibes. All right, so now to the full price items. Um, they did have a separate little rack for um, Adidas and Nike. Honestly, I was really disappointed with like the process. They, they told me it would take an hour and it ended up taking about two and a half hours. And I came in a couple times and I left. Um, I don't think they noticed the fact that I came back in and I saw them looking at my stuff and laughing at it. So that was nice. It's like, thank you Plays Closet people for making fun of my clothes. But long story short, they had this rack. Um, I didn't want to give them business with the way that they were treating me, but 
whatever. Um, I'm definitely going to make more money um, reselling these items than I am actually from actually selling my items to them. So this was $11. The great thing about Adidas is that underneath the main care tag, it also says the date. These are from April 2017. I cannot find this exact sold style. It has the Adidas Originals logo on it, like that trifoil logo. And then what's really unique is this stripe print. Like it's like really floral and cute. If I did try to list these, um, just because it's like a style I can't find, I might be really crazy, but um, I'd probably list them for like 50, 60 bucks. And um, Adidas Originals, specifically just the stuff with that trifoil logo is like the only stuff that I'm able to sell stuff for like the original listing price just because the stuff is so sought after. Um, if I am able to find what the style name of this is then hopefully I could like sell it for more. These are really popular like the three stripes um, leggings. So for $11 it was good. I know that it's new with tag or new without tag because we got the little thing here. I'm just gonna take that off. Um, and we have the uh, price tag must have fallen off. It's a size medium. Like I said, that Adidas original with a trifoil logo. I forget the name off the top of my head, but um, I found this online. It's a very unique style. I like the hood. I mean, it's very unique. Um, I could keep it myself, but I'm definitely gonna also list it. Um, only like three or four have sold because there's not a lot um, listed, but um, they've all sold for $40 plus. So I'd probably like list this for like 60 bucks. But yeah, it's like a really pretty print. All right, next and last item. This was my favorite find and also the most expensive, but I thought, why not? This one was new with tag. It was the original um, logo and it was listed for $20. And it's a good size for me. Um, it's a size medium, new with tag. And it's just a basic red track jacket. Um, this is a really popular style. Celebrities probably make these famous. Um, black is the most popular color, but red is also like really bold and pretty. You know, three stripes down the side. So yeah, this was a great find. 50-50 um, whether I'm gonna list this or not. If you guys are inter interested though, you can. you're welcome to you know, message down in the comments or definitely direct message me on Instagram. I can always give people good deals. So let's bring Lucky up. Let's see if he'll cooperate. Okay. So we will probably never resell to these two stores again. Um, for those of you who do not know, I live in the Pittsburgh area and this was in Bridgeville. Specifically just Plato's, I'll look at the Adidas stuff again, but um, definitely I'll check out Clothes Mentor again. Spent like $103 for the items at Clothes Mentor, and I'm not positive what the price was for Play-Dohs, but I showed you all the prices, so. All right, well, thank you guys for very much for watching. Lucky, he really appreciates it. He's saying thank you. He loves you all. Um, he really appreciates the new subscribers on YouTube. Lucky thinks that's amazing. So if you wanna see more YouTube videos, thrift hauls, uh, Poshmark discussions, definitely follow us, and we'll see you next time. Okay.